Thursday, December 9th, 2010. Figured I would, uh, just got a pretty good grocery haul. This is pretty typical of my paydays. Um, walked into Smith's today, which is a grocery store here in Las Vegas. And it turns out they had a kick-ass deal on meats. Petite sirloin, $1.99 per pound. Bought about 45 pounds of that. You gotta take advantage of those deals. Boneless, skinless Tyson uh, chicken thighs, also $1.99 per pound. Got about uh, close to 20 pounds of that. And uh, other odds and ends. I keep listening to these uh, paleo podcasts who all advocate uh, these uh, seafood products. So I've honestly, I've never had sardines in my entire life, and I doubt that I'll like them. But I hear that the ones in water are a bit more tolerable, so I'm going to try these out. Got some uh, canned salmon. I got red and pink. I've actually only had salmon like once in my life, fresh salmon, and I uh, wasn't a big fan. So I bought one of each, red, one red, one pink. I honestly have no idea what the difference is, so I'll try each one out. Just some garlic salt. I got uh, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. Those are all organic. Again, everything here, everything. It was like the store was uh, thinking about me today. It was on sale. 85% uh, dark chocolate, each one of these. And each one of these is $1.50, which is a hell of a deal. That's a pretty good quality brand right there, too. You know, a couple squares a day, no big deal. Um, a bunch of bacon. That is six pounds of bacon. I get the ends in pieces because usually I'm just using it to uh, sear off meats and... I'll have to slice it and chop it anyway, so that saves me time and it's cheaper. Some medium cheddar cheese by Tillamook, which has none of the hormones. But then, conversely, I got uh, regular butter, which does. So, But again, it was on sale, so I had to go with it. Some heavy whipping cream on sale. This is that Greek-style yogurt I've probably talked about before, full fat. Um, some rice, I try to take that in moderation, but again, it really... Helps to liven up the meals. 10 pound bag of russet potatoes. Probably something I shouldn't be eating when my goal is uh, specifically weight loss, but you know, survival food. Uh, two and a half dozen eggs. I'll go through these in less than a week and I'll have to go back and get more. And uh, yeah, Diet Pop, which I know I shouldn't get, but I always do. Anyways, decent grocery haul. I love when the receipt says you saved nearly $200 today. Um, so all of this right here, which, you know, should last me a couple of weeks, the meat even longer, uh, came to about $169. So pretty good. Going to go back to the store here in a couple of days, get some more fruit and veggies. But this is the bulk of what I eat. And uh, most of the spices, and I have some olive oil and coconut oil and cornstarch I do not eat some lard all that fun stuff flaxseed which I, I don't really take but we have it up there is also some sunflower seeds a bunch of different teas Splenda which I try to use about one packet per serving of the tea which actually one packet per 40 ounces of tea so way less than most people would take a bunch of green teas organic organic green teas this uh, slimming green tea that a friend of mine sells. I'm supposed to try it out and review it. I haven't done it yet. Um, I'll need a lot more freezer bags. But um, cast iron pan that I've actually never... I've had this for probably eight months now. Never washed it once. It's finally getting to the point when I can uh, cook eggs in it because it's finally non-stick. <laughs> but um, water cooler, big part of my uh, intake. But yeah, that's it. Asshole cat who uh, always jumps up onto the counter. But yeah, that's it. Decent grocery haul. And uh, that's all for now. So, oh, also started running this week. Um, and then shortly after, twisted my ankle. And I legitimately twisted my ankle. I'm not going to pan down to the ace bandage underneath my sneaker. But uh, I twisted it really bad. Uh, bad to the point that I'm surprised I'm even able to walk today. So... But there is some swelling, no bruising, so 
my running career, at least this time around, is cut short, but I'm hoping to uh, be able to start that back up next week. And uh, weightlifting, again, renewed intensity, so that's going well. Although, squats and deadlifts may also have to be pushed back to next week with a gimpy ankle. Um, that's all for now. So, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and until next time.